when my daughter was two years old, she sat up in bed at about one o'clock in the morning and she pointed, she was wide awake, she pointed with her fingers at the door and she said, Mommy, Satan by the door. And I said, what? I was, I was so freaked out. I said to her, what did you just say? Because her vocabulary was very small. A two-year-old doesn't know how to speak. And the word Satan wasn't in her vocabulary. And she said, uh, Mommy, there's a man by the door. Anyway, needless to say, we didn't sleep that night. We spent the whole night watching Teletubbies. And when I finally got hold of her dad, which was at about 7 o'clock the next morning, he said, oh, I'm a bit concerned because I dedicated my firstborn to the devil when I was practicing demonology. Now, just to give you a bit of backstory, I didn't know him very well. I was only, we were maybe seeing each other for about three months and I fell pregnant. And I only got to know him during my pregnancy. And at the time, and this was more than 20 years ago, at the time, I didn't know what narcissism was. I didn't know who I was dealing with. I didn't know what I was in for. But I decided that if he's uh, dedicated his firstborn to the devil, then I'm going to dedicate my firstborn to God and let's see who wins. And that was actually the start of my spiritual journey. Hi, I'm Natasha Williams and I'm a spiritual warrior. And if you're on this channel, then together we are going on a spiritual warrior journey. And that journey is not about who you are, but it's about who you'd like to become. I like to share deep stories and I like to ask deep questions. And I share everything to do with personal development and spiritual growth. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then subscribe to my channel because my aim is to help uplift humanity. And it starts with you. So as you've guessed by now, I was in a very toxic relationship and I was actually, the reason why I left him, or I actually had to get him out of my house because he was staying in my house, of course, because they are financially abusive as well, is that I was actually sitting outside and I realized that I am either going to be a doormat or I'm going to commit suicide, but I can't live like this. And I'm no use to my daughter being dead. And I had to leave. It was one of the hardest things that I ever did because we were together for about two years. And I didn't know at the time, but I was trauma bonded. And then, of course, I met my husband. And when I met him, I thought, this is the man who's going to make our family happy. He's going to make me complete. And my whole picture of what a perfect house, uh, household is like, what a perfect family is like, actually is what I had put into this relationship. And when my daughter was about six years old, I came home and I discovered that he'd actually been grooming her. This was the husband that I trusted. And then my entire world fell apart. So that was my dark night of the soul. And although I had already decided which path I'm going to go on, of course, the people that I kept choosing weren't on that path. But because I was engaged in such a very um, toxic custody battle with my daughter and her father who as you've discovered was a demonologist it was mentally physically emotionally financially everything draining on me and when she actually landed up staying with him because of uh, court rules I decided that I'm actually going to stay with my husband because I was also trauma bonded and also because I decided I'm not going to go into another relationship like this again and have to learn all over again why I attract people like this because it wasn't the first time and I knew that if I left I'm just going to find another man with another name who's going to have the same toxic behaviors but you only find out later on because any toxic person is not going to come right out and tell you they're toxic they're going to charm you they're going to wheel you in they're going to make your life feel like they are the perfect person for you and so what I ended up doing was studying not only his behavior, but mine as well. And because it bought me the, the space to investigate, I went online and I looked up everything that I possibly could. Now, keep in mind, narcissistic abuse wasn't heard of in those days. I was looking up things like bullying and what are my rights and what is people's rights. And I was fortunate because I was the financial, uh, I was the breadwinner and he wasn't. So I wasn't at a financial risk. 
But what he did was he said to me, if we get divorced, because we were married in community of property, if we get divorced, then he, I have to give him half of everything because it's his right by law and he's going to claim spousal support. So it put me in a very heavy situation because not only was I trying to maintain the household on my own, I also had to be mom. I also had to pay for everything and work. And he just sat around and did whatever it was that he was doing. And so I had to find other ways. And what I learned along the way is so many things. There's so many spiritual lessons. But what I'm actually sharing this story with you for is that we, there are certain types of people that attract narcissists. They are, and I call them empaths or light workers, but there's a certain type of person who does. And I've discovered that although narcissists have got certain traits, so do we. So do the empaths have certain traits. And one of the traits that we have that is a very clear distinguisher is that we struggle with guilt and with loyalty. And a lot of women say, even though he's harmed her, and I'm saying he because it's it's mostly men, but it's for women as well. But even though he's harmed her, she feels bad to let him go and destroy himself. She feels bad that he won't cope without her because that's what he's told her. And underneath it all, she actually knows it. But because you lose your self-worth, because you lose so much of who you are, you forget your dreams, your values, um, everything that you like, because of course you have to do everything that they want you to do. You lose yourself along the way. You lose courage. You lose faith. You lose trust in your abilities, even though on the outside everybody else tells you and you've seen your awards, you've seen your recognitions, you know how you were capable before you met this person. They have an ability to suck that so much dry that you actually need a helping hand to get out. And as I said before, I am a, a person who chose the light and I believe that there are two types of people in the world. There are the good people and there's the bad people. And let me just explain a bit more about what that is. So the good people are people that have a heart. The good people are the ones who know that whatever it is that they set their mind on, whatever it is that their heart desires, they're able to go out, work for it and achieve it. They are loving, compassionate people. They want to help uplift others. And then you get the, the bad people. And those people are the ones that say, I don't want to work for it. I'm going to make you work for it. And then you just give it to me. That way I don't have to do any of the work myself. And because you're the giver, you'll end up just giving it to them. And that's how they live. They need to feed off others in order to survive. And so those are the bad people. And the bad people are able to wreak massive destruction. And massive destruction is very quick to create, but it's very hard to build up again. And so if you keep giving your energy to somebody like that, because you're trying to show them the light, literally the light that you are, then they are going to take that light and dim it so much that eventually there's nothing left of your light. And then you're going to land up like I did, which is either become a doormat or dead. And if you haven't died physically, you'll die on the inside. And then all they do is just move along and go and find somebody else. So why do you have this light? Well, you have this light because you came to this earth, because you wanted to show people what humanity is capable of. You came here because you wanted to uplift society, because you want to show them your light. And nine out of 10 times, you're born in a dysfunctional family. In fact, I would, I would even say 99% of the time. You're born in a very difficult, dysfunctional family because that is your training ground to overcome those obstacles so that you're able to find your light and you're able to realize that your self-worth is not tied in with what somebody else said, but that it is to do with your value, your worth. And we've been taught that self-worth is being selfish. And that's your biggest lesson is to overcome that. And when you have... That is where the beauty is, because when you have, you're able to then uplift humanity. Because uplifting doesn't happen by you struggling and giving away the last bit that you have to somebody else to lift them up. It actually works the other way around. You've got to have your cup full in order to give to somebody else. So when you realize that you are able to heal yourself, then you're able to heal others. And this is what Jesus came to teach. And I'm not here to preach religion. And, and Jesus was one of the great masters, one of the great people that are still walk, walking this earth. But that's what he came to do. He, came, he said, you're here to follow 
do what I do. He didn't say just follow me and just do whatever I say. Because that's what a role model is. A role model is somebody that says, if I'm capable of doing it, so are you. And so my path is as a spiritual warrior. And that is following the hero's journey. And the hero's journey is about a tale of two stories. It's actually the most um, uh, used in Hollywood movies as a plot. There's two stories. The main story is where the prince sets out to go and rescue the princess and along the way he has to slay the dragon but the second story is about the person who he becomes along the way so whether he gets the princess in the end or not is totally irrelevant it's does he manage to become a stronger person despite all the obstacles in fact it's like superman's kryptonite it's if you're able to overcome that and not be devoured by the dragon then you become a master at your circumstances and you don't let your circumstance dictate to you and that is basically to me what narcissistic abuse is about do you become a victim to your circumstance or are you able to rise above it because when you are able that is that is when you can show somebody else and so my whole series now is called Spiritual Warrior Journey, which is the journey that we're all on. It's all about finding ourselves, finding enlightenment, finding our purpose, finding our true mission in life and overcoming so that we can uplift humanity as a whole and make this world a better place. And we do it by doing it one person at a time. So if every person is able to lift themselves up it has a ripple effect out into society and that is my job my job is to be a light bringer a light bearer to show you the way you don't need to follow my way all parts in the end lead to Rome but I'm here to share my individual story and hope that it helps you because I've been there I understand it but I can tell you that you can transcend it and your life can look totally different I am not the person that I was I'm not the person that I even was yesterday and the reason for that is because I'm constantly in awe and growing and learning and transforming and you can do the same and I'll be sharing with you all the tips and tools and techniques that I've learned but you know it's not even about that it's about doing the inner work and that's what we're going to be doing so if you want to follow along be part of the journey if you feel called to do it please do because you'll be one of the many people that will help us change the world because I can't do it on my own and you can't do it on your own but together we can make a huge difference in our life in other people's lives so thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you soon